What's up, guys? So my GoPro died, and I'm testing this E4K Plus. Wait a minute. Let me back this up from the beginning. My GoPro was flaking out, kept locking up. Did a whole bunch of great video. Best video ever. Rode a wheelie from first to fifth. Didn't get any of it. Why the fuck you lying? Nah, I'm lying. So I did a firmware update, so hopefully it'll fix all this. Take the Honda out today. This thing is so much softer. Ain't that cold out, is it? <laughs> yes, it is. Or it's wanted, I don't know. Your thing is on? Yeah. The kill switch? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> Willie. You must have hit it. First ride on Honda this year. The 5 0. Bear in the water. Kicking up water blade. Or is it raining? These are turtles. Nothing. Nothing. There's some. See? Always turtles on there. I don't know. You should use your blinker more often. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know where you're going. We're riding into it and it's all blowing that way. Let's go over to the dock right there. Yeah, let's do that. What's going on here? Catching seaweed. Get anything good? What kind? Black snake? Oh, nice. Where is he in the water? Yeah, I got a little. I caught a little tiny garter snake yeah, at my house. Yeah. Say. Yeah. Yeah, about the same size. Little baby. Yeah. I actually ran over a nice milk snake on a road, man. I don't think I killed it. It was big too, like that. <laughs> When you leave here, it's the first left. I can't remember the name of the road. You. All right. Okay. All right. My GoPro locked up for the last time. I'll show you the E4K and we'll try it out, see how it works. So as you can see, the Hero 4 and the 4K Plus are pretty similar in size. The 4K Plus is definitely a little bigger. It's got a lot better battery life. Take these out. Now you can really see the difference. One button on the E4K Plus. Battery and SD card going there. Pretty fast start up. Easy menus. I updated the firmware so it's showing the newer menus on here, which is voice control. Video. Resolutions, they give you a ton of resolutions. And 
and you have Wi-Fi test stabilization and distortion but it won't work in the mode I'm in mic mute low or high powered off you hold this I just dropped this and broke it but that was after I was locking up so now I have my son's extended battery pack and case which is on my helmet right now but apparently they use good sensors like really good sensors and really good chips inside so if they can get their audio down I think it's a if this is gonna be my main this is what I use it's got the extension oh my mic fell out but I get like three hours with that battery pack as you can see I already cut this out with a pretty adapter it's like a garbage truck running through my house because <laughs> it is because there's a little short adapter similar similar to this one but this is a USB C I don't know let's try it Memorial Day weekend. so yeah the reason I don't have 4k TV is because I have a projector Got it some shitty audio there. Nice video. So, all right, we're gonna try it on a setting for low mic now. Let's see how it sounds. Setting low. Still seems as loud as the other one. I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to the idea of having a recorder that I could sync up the audio with. Uh, I guess that's not as bad, but it's still crappy audio. Now let's try it in wind mode. So this is a Yi 4K test set to wind for the microphone. I really like the video that this takes, especially compared to, you know, my Hero 4. I'd probably end up using the 2.7K down converting it to the 1080 so it doesn't use as much and I can get a higher frame rate on 2.7 I can still do the ultra wide now my shield is totally closed like I said before I even on low it's like right almost to the point where it won't distort where maybe if I hit it behind like a thick piece of foam or something it would just reduce it enough and even then I mean the audio is not going to be as good as the GoPro because the GoPro has a lot of bass and here it's got a much more dynamic range but it, it, it'll be usable here I take the Honda because last time I had the Hawk it's probably a better comparison Besides the audio, the video on this thing is pretty kick-ass. So I guess that makes it a great candidate for the drones that you add the camera to. Built-in mics are okay. I still don't think they have as much of a dynamic range as the GoPro. I don't know. Is, is, is it electronic circuitry? Is it something they could do with software? I'd imagine it's something they could do with software. Imagine they'd use some kind of components inside that would limit the audio, you know. It's Russian. Now this I don't like, it's a bit oversaturated. That didn't do a good job here either. And 
that light adjustment is just way too slow. And that puts us right back to the beginning of the video where I started. Well, I just wanted to show you the comparison between the 1080p super wide and the E 4K Plus at 4K ultra wide. I really hope they do a fix for that, make the automatic gain control work better on that microphone for the external. You gotta make a nice camera for motor vlogging. I did send them an email. Hopefully I'll get a response. I'm wondering if I hide that microphone underneath the cushion or something where my cheek is. If it'll take away a little bit more of the noise and stop it from clipping. Yeah, I'm not too happy with the GoPro Hero 5 and the Hero 6. Because you got less than two hour battery life. The microphone adapter is like this big cinder block on the end of a cord you gotta figure out where to put. So it's kind of crazy. I suppose I could put a battery pack somewhere else on the helmet. I also looked online and there's some firmware for the E 4K custom firmware that adds a bunch of features to it but I don't see anything about the microphone control. I get a feeling they'll come up with something. Man a lot of squirrels and chipmunks. Tis to see them. Oh there's a deer. I'll see if I had my 4K I could have zoomed right in on that. So I don't know, what do you guys think? I think I'm going to end up having to go with the GoPro again and just deal with the microphone block and hook power to that. It actually might even be a better deal to have that. I already have a 12 volt adapter on one of my bikes, I just have to put it on a Hawk. Then I'll never run out of battery power. Tell me what you think. Give me a comment below.